Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. This is the final video of our three video series of Discover Nine Types of Clutches and How They Work. In part three, we'll unravel the intricacies of the last set of clutch types. Let's conclude this in depth journey through the fascinating world of clutches. Semi centrifugal clutch. When it comes to the world of clutches, Semi-centrifugal clutches play a vital role in specific automotive and industrial systems. They operate on the principle of centrifugal force and find applications in various equipment including chainsaws, go-karts, and some older motorcycles. How it works. The semi-centrifugal clutch relies on weights within the clutch assembly that move outward due to centrifugal force when the engine's RPM increases. This outward movement causes the clutch to engage allowing the transmission of power from the engine to the wheels or drive shaft. Conversely, when the engine speed decreases, the weights retract, disengaging the clutch and interrupting the power transfer. Automotive and Industrial Applications In the automotive sector, semi-centrifugal clutches are commonly used in off-road vehicles, lawn equipment, and certain types of small utility vehicles. They provide a simple yet effective means of engaging and disengaging power transmission. Within the industrial landscape, semi-centrifugal clutches are found in equipment such as compressors and pumps, where the need for automatic engagement and disengagement of power transfer is essential for operational efficiency. Understanding the functionality of semi-centrifugal clutches sheds light on their importance in various systems, making them a crucial component in the world of machinery and automotive technology. Fluid coupling. When it comes to torque transmission without mechanical contact, Fluid coupling is an essential component. This ingenious device operates on the principle of a fluid-filled chamber to effectively transmit power. Let's delve into the detailed working of a fluid coupling, its components, and its pivotal role in torque transmission. Working of a fluid coupling. In its simplest form, a fluid coupling consists of two main components, the impeller and the runner. The impeller, connected to the engine, drives the fluid inside the coupling. This creates a flow and movement of the fluid within the casing. As a result, the fluid makes the runner, linked to the transmission system, rotate due to the imparted kinetic energy. The beauty of the fluid coupling lies in its seamless ability to transmit power without any physical connection. As the impeller accelerates the fluid, it exerts force on the runner, thereby transferring torque. This process allows for smooth and efficient power transmission without the need for solid contact between the driving and driven components. Components of a fluid coupling. Understanding the components of a fluid coupling is fundamental to comprehending its functionality. The impeller, usually fixed to the engine's crankshaft, serves as the driving force behind the fluid movement. On the other hand, the runner, connected to the transmission system, receives the torque and enables the vehicle to move. The casing, a crucial part of the fluid coupling, contains the fluid and facilitates the transfer of power. The fluid, typically a special type of oil, fills the casing and plays a central role in transmitting torque between the impeller and the runner. Role in torque transmission. The fluid coupling acts as a mediator between the engine and the transmission system, enabling seamless torque transmission. Harnessing the power of hydraulic fluid dynamics ensures a smooth transfer of torque from the engine to the transmission, allowing the vehicle to move forward without abrupt power surges or shocks. In essence, the fluid coupling's ability to transmit power without direct mechanical contact provides the vehicle with a reliable and efficient method of torque transfer, essential for smooth acceleration and operation. Applying the concept of a fluid coupling to real-life scenarios, it's akin to a relay race where the baton, torque, is smoothly passed from one runner, impeller, to another, runner, without any interruptions, ensuring the race, vehicle operation, progresses seamlessly. In conclusion, fluid coupling, with its ingenious use of hydraulic fluid dynamics, plays a pivotal role in facilitating smooth and efficient torque transmission within a vehicle, ultimately contributing to its optimal performance. In conclusion, the world of mechanical engineering offers a fascinating array of clutch types, each serving a unique purpose in different systems. From the simplicity of the friction clutch to the advanced technology of the hydraulic and electromagnetic clutches, the versatility of these mechanisms is truly impressive.
Whether it's the smooth engagement of the centrifugal clutch in small engine applications or the precise control of the dual clutch system in high performance vehicles, the diverse range of clutch designs showcases the ingenuity of engineering in meeting specific operational requirements. Understanding these various clutch types and their applications is essential for anyone interested in the inner workings of machinery and automotive systems. As we bring this comprehensive series to a close, we hope you now have a holistic understanding of the nine types of clutches and how they work. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.